Hi there and welcome to this quick video on our first little update for Divisimate. Part of this update are a couple of small fixes for bugs and unintentional behavior of the software. I'm not going to talk about every single one of them, but you can find the full changelog in the video description. The biggest thing about this update is that it ensures compatibility with the new Android versions of our remote control app. These are available now on Google Play for tablet and smartphone. Links are in the video description. Make sure you have the update installed first, they won't work with Divisimate 1.0. Another important new thing that this update brings is that Divisimate will now check automatically whether there is a newer version of the software available on our website. This makes it easier for you to get these kind of updates in the future. If your Divisimate is not up to date, it will display a little button on the upper side of the interface. When you click on that, it will take you to a site where you can download the most recent version. A couple of people reached out to us telling us that some of their instruments didn't trigger their legato transitions with Divisimate, because there was still a small gap between notes. That was fixed now, so there should be a slight overlap between notes played with the Divisi engine to trigger legato with every instrument out there. Another thing that caused some confusion was the labeling of notes in the trigger plugin. The note names displayed in the trigger didn't match the note names in the sequencer, so C1 in the trigger was actually C0 in most DAWs. We fixed that so the note names are the same in Divisimate and most sequences now. On top of that, we extended the range of the trigger down to C-1 to accommodate the standard key switches from some major libraries. And by popular request, we included a whole new feature in this little update. The Divisimate loopback port. The loopback port allows you to send MIDI from anywhere in your machine directly into Divisimate as an input. You can activate it under input devices on the settings page. But careful, it is possible to build feedback loops with this feature, which are always dangerous. So only route a track to the loopback port if you are absolutely sure that the MIDI signals won't go full circle. With this new feature, another workflow is possible without any workarounds. You can set up a track in your DAW and use it as a control track for Divisimate while you record or preview orchestrations on other tracks within the same project or even with outboard equipment. This is especially useful for people who want to have more control over the notes Divisimate is receiving, because they can now record the MIDI that's going out to Divisimate and play it back. You can tweak and edit the input data before you send it to Divisimate and try out different orchestrations with the exact same sequence of notes. Also, it makes it much easier to use third-party software and workflow utilities to modify or generate MIDI and send it to Divisimate. So those are the main things that changed with the first update for Divisimate. There are a couple of things that also changed under the hood, improving stability of plugins and the engine. Existing users can just download the update at divisimate.com updates. All new users will get the most recent installer from the very start anyways. We hope you enjoy working with Divisimate. This has been Steffen from NextMedi. Thank you for watching and see you next time.